I'll do that and then you start talking and then I'll go. And I'm Ashley. And welcome to the MMS News. Remember, we are focusing on the character traits of MMS, and this month's character trait is citizenship. Citizenship means about being informed, responsible, and caring and participate in your community. Go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name scroll across the screen. Can't wait to see what kind of citizenship we have here at MMS. Now we go to our first story of the week with our MMS News updater with Adam. Hi guys, it's the MMS Update here. Monday, February 20th, no school. President's Day, thank you Donald Trump. Tuesday, February 21st, also no school, 21st either, because of parent-teacher conferences. Be very afraid. Wednesday, February 22nd, wrestling at Nebras Inc. At, and sixth grade dan dance. Thursday, February 23rd, wrestling at Creekside and a high school band festival. Friday, hey, February 24th, there's a six, there's sixth grade dance, dance. That's about it. Saturday, February 25th, wrestling regionals. Let's go Trojans! I'm the MMS up there, and see you guys later. Let's check in with some local sports with T Tyler. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. I'm going to be interviewing uh, Ms. Fisher and Mr. Horace for a track interview. First one is, what is track and field? Track and field is a sport where you can do simple athletic contests like running, jumping, and throwing. Second one, who can join track? Any 6th, 7th, or 8th grade boy or girl can join track. How do you sign up for track? We already did sign-ups just yesterday, last Thursday, but if you're still interested in joining, anyone can join and they can come see myself or Miss Fisher or Dr. Comas. Okay. When does the season start? The season starts March 14th for 8th graders and March 15th for everybody. What is the best part about track? The best part about track and field, well, there's a lot of good things, Tyler. Um, you get in great shape, you get to hang out with all your friends after school, and I think my favorite part is you get to set new personal bests. You're always improving in track and field, running a little bit faster and throwing a little bit farther. Are there any reminders? Just a reminder, if you want to sign up for track and field, see me in the art room, Ms. Fisher, or Dr. Comas. Okay, that is it. See you guys next time. Bye. Now to our sports center with Matt to learn about the college basketball standings. It's the Sports Updaters, and today I will be talking about the NCAA basketball rankings. There's two rankings, the regular season rankings and then the playoff rankings, which are different. Then I will say their playoff ranking and their record, and also their best player. So first, Gonzaga, ranked one in the regular season and then ranked four in the playoffs. They're 26-0, but only because their division is garbage. The best player is Nigel Williams-Goss, number five. Let's set up some highlights. This is the second opportunity. It's off. <laughs> Welcome to playing against the number five team in the nation. Let's see if they come back and hit another three. So they can finish off with a flurry here in the final two minutes and change of the first half. Williams Goss, he has not been stopped all night long. 15 points in the first half. A natural sense for the moment. Matthews in the corner, he loves that spot, has hit three from that position so far tonight. Quick foul to start the second half, and that is exactly where Nigel Williams-Goss Goss left off in the first half. He puts his head down, and he's going in until somebody stops him. Eight points on four of six shooting. Thanks for watching, MMS. Need a good book or just something to do instead of your homework? Let's see if Drake can solve that problem. Hello everybody, Drake here, and today I'm talking about some book trailers, Sixth Grade Silver made. The team made the trailers on Animoto. The videos are made over the past few weeks as a language arts project. The trailers can help you find a great book. Here are the videos.
Bye, MMS. Matt and Matt have another interesting character that you should check out this week in the latest issue of Comic Book Updater. Hey boys, we're back in black, and today we're going to talk about the Condiment King. Yes, you heard him right, the Condiment King. The Condiment King was created by Bruce Timm and Paul Dini for the Batman animated series. He is a DC Comics villain who makes the use of various condiments, sometimes capable of causing anaphylactic shock as his weapon. He is generally used as comic relief within the series. He was later revealed to be a stand-up comedian who was brainwashed by the Joker using the, one of Mad Hatter's devices. Well, that's all for now, folks, but I'll catch up with you later. Now we go to the most requested story of the week, the always interesting, never stale anime insider. This week's anime is Blue Exorcist. This anime is about a not-so-smart and kind of reckless teenager named Rin. Rin's father, or that's what he's known as his whole life, is a priest. Rin's actual father is the devil. He found out that the demons exist and he inherited the devil's power unlike his brother Yukio. After finding out the truth, Rin decides that he's going to become an exorcist and kill his father. Exorcists are people who keep the human world safe from demons. When he gets accepted into an exorcist cram school, he has to keep his demon powers hidden from his classmates as to not create chaos. This becomes a huge inconvenience when his friends are in danger. Go watch this anime for yourself to see how things go. I'm Itachi, and I'll be leaving. Sayonara. Straight to the music with Orion. Orion, shouldn't this be movies? Nope, he's living the dream and moving up to the top 10. Well, hopefully he tries to at least say these names right. Hey there, MS. Yes, after three years, I finally accomplished my goal here at MS News, doing the top 10 songs of the week. By far my favorite segment at MS News, and all of you can agree with me. Let's get to the top 10 songs. Number 10 was Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt. Like Cadillacs, body like a back road, driving with my eyes closed. Number nine was "Say You Won't Go" by James Arthur. Say you won't let go. Just say you won't let go. Number eight was "Bad Things" by Machine Gun Kelly and Camila Cabello. Number seven was I Feel It Coming by The Weeknd. Number six was Rockabye by Clean Bandit featuring Sean Paul and Anna Mari. Number five was A Million Reasons by Lady Gaga. It's like that I've stopped breathing but completely aware Cause you're giving me a million reasons Give me a million reasons Giving me a million reasons About a million reasons And if you say something that you might even mean Oh, number four was Paris by the Chainsmokers Number three was Heavy Dirty Soul by 21 Pilots. Number two was I Don't Wanna Live Forever by Zayn and Taylor Swift. And number one was Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. That was for all you single people that just want to sit around and listen to music on Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys liked my way of doing top 10, aka almost the same songs every week. But see you next week, I'm MS. Spotlight is on, so that only can mean it's time for Billy in another episode of Spotlight. Hello, I'm Billy, and today I have a request to do Faze Rain, so let's get to this. Number one, he was born May 29th, 
1996 in Toronto, Canada. Two, Bay's Rain has 4,011,000 subscribers. Three, he has played games on his channel with fellow FaZe member Thomas Olivia. Four, most of his videos are about gaming. Five, FaZe Rain is the leader of FaZe Clan. Well, that's it for today. See you later, MS. Wild and Crazy Animals is next with Haley and Ashley. Meow. Yeah. and welcome back to Wild Animals. This week on Wild Animals, we will be talking about the most fascinating animal in the world. The Gyrnach! Look, it's a deer. No, it's a baby giraffe. No, it's a Gyrnach. The Gyrnach's lower body is covered with white hairs. Gyrnachs have small, wedge-shaped heads with large eyes, long ears, and small pointed nose. It has a long, slender neck, long legs, and a short black colored tail. The name Gyrnach is another word for giraffe neck. The Gyrnuk belongs to a family of gazelles and is a species of antelope. And these amazing mammals live in Tanzania, Maasai Steppe, Samburu, and East Africa. Fun fact, the fascinating Gyrnuk can go its whole life without drinking water. Wow. Much wow. Since the Gyrnuk diet consists of leaves, shoots from bushes and trees, and also flowers, fruits, and buds, they do not need to consume grass or water. They do some pretty amazing things to get their food too, such as stand on their hind legs in order to reach the leaves on the tree. That's all we have for you this week on Wild Animals. See you next week. Well, not physically see, but you know what I mean. Bye, Bye Mamas! New day, new holiday. Let's see what exciting holiday we should all be celebrating. Hi, this is Alyssa and the Calendar Girl. Today I'm going to tell you about Chocolate Mint Day. It's always February 19th. Chocolate mint day celebrates anything and everything that is chocolate mint flavored. The most common chocolate mint treats are ice cream, candies, and desserts. Uh, not everyone likes chocolate mint, but those who do love it can taste this. Now, we don't know who, like, why people don't like it, but if you don't, you're missing out on a lot of fun. But we do feel sorry for them too, for those chocolate mint lovers. This is a truly great day, whether it's candy, ice cream, or dessert. Make sure to get your fill of chocolate mint. It was most likely started started by a candy uh, conventioner or an ice cream company. Some, cal some calendar and egg card websites refer to this day as a national day. We did not find any congressional records or presidential claims for this day. If you have any information about this holiday, please email, email me at amoller112 at d15.org. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, MMS. Found a girl signing out. And I, get, uh, I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Bye. I'm wasting. Check. Slightly funny. Check. Must be the YouTubers. Check. Now, roll the story. Welcome to the greatest story of all time. You the YouTubers here. Today, the YouTuber will be Vitaly ZDT. He is a prank channel. This suggestion was... From the one and only Mr. Shepshek. Vitaly ZDT has over 9 million subs. He started his career August 7th, 2011. He posts one time per month. He has been arrested several times. His channel consists of pranks and going wrong in the hood. Well, that's it for us, and bye. Okay, folks, come in close. Let's talk. We know you love the JFL, but we have to prepare you that they are graduating for the next couple of months. We might be trying out some new ones to the JFL, so bear with us. All right, to the funny with JFL. What up, MMS? It's great to be here in JFL for the first time. Hey guys, it's also my first time to be in JFL. We are going to be talking about Theos based on face plants. Number three is the beach dropper. Number two, the mountain rider. And number one is the leap of face. Get what we did there? So see you next time, MMS Tyler and Jack spinning out. Stay classy, MMS, and have a great weekend.
Hello, I'm the Movie Master. This week, I'm going to talk about a movie that comes out this summer. To my surprise, they decided to make another Terminator movie in the original Terminator's back. And yes, I'm talking about the same robot who was played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. There is also a guy named Jason Clark from the movie Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Amelia Clark, who usually plays Daenerys from the hit show Game of Thrones. This movie is basically about Kyle Reese, who goes back into the past in an attempt to save John Connor's mom. He faces other Terminators, time travel complications, and has to stop Judgment Day from ever happening. This new franchise from in the Terminator series comes out July 1st. After this movie, there will be two more sequels to the new Terminator trilogy. Personally, I think that this will be the, this will be a cool movie. See you next week, guys, and remember, if you get a large, we fills are free.